second part of how to connect Arabic letters. We are going to continue to learn how to connect the letters. So last time we stopped at the letter Jim, isn't it? Did you study it well? I hope you did. Today I want you to please write with me the letters so that you will practice on how to draw them. So continuing the letters, the letters, as you can see, they look similar to each other. For example, the da and the da, the ra and the za, the seen and the sheen, the sa and the da, the ta and the da, the ayn and the ghayn. They may look similar, right? Yeah, they are. These letters, they work in couples, you know? Like the ones that look similar to each other, they have the same rules of connecting them. They have the same rules of connecting them. You will see how now. For example, the letter da in the beginning, it cannot be connected with the letter after it. And the same as for da. If I have da instead of da over here, it can work. Like it has the same connection rules. It doesn't get connected with the letter after it. In the middle, the da or the da, they get connected with the letter before them, but they cannot be connected with the letter after them. No way! Okay? In the end, it depends. As you can see, I divided the end into two parts. If the letter before it is a ya, yeah, for example, and the ya, yeah, we know that, or actually we are going to know that, that the ya yeah can be connected with the letter after it. Okay? So, that's why the da can get connected with the ya, yeah, and of course there is no any other letter after it, so it will be yad. But if we have, for example, the letter alif, the letter alif, it cannot be connected with the letter after it, so the da will stand alone. The same rules will apply also for the ra and the za. They look similar and they also have the same connection rules. Rafa'a, Rafa'a. Now we don't have to know the meaning of these words, and actually I didn't write, like sometimes I wrote only the letters, but without like having a certain meaning. For example, here I wrote only the letter before it, giving you an example. So these are all examples, okay? So just concentrate on how to connect them now, okay? So, Ra and Za. I have, for example, Rafa, Rafa. Okay? The ra is like the da also. It doesn't get connected with the letter after it. Even in the middle, it gets connected with the one only before it, like the da and the da. So the ra and the za, they are, they are exactly like the da and the za. Okay? So in the middle, it gets connected with the one before it, but not with the one after it. In the end, also it depends. If it's an alif, for example, it will stand alone. If it's a calf, and the calf gets connected with the one after it, so it gets connected with it. Seen and sheen. Now I want to tell you that. Seen, sheen, sa, da, ta, da, ayn, ayn. They all have the same connection rules. Okay? So don't worry about. Okay? And even more letters, I guess, but uh, these are the ones here on my board. So I'm just making them easy for you so that I will explain them easily and move smoothly, okay? So, shams. The sha here, for example, and of course, uh, they look similar, they have the same connection rules. They look similar, have the same connection rules. But all in all, these have the same connection rules. And these group have the same connection rules. So these have the same connection rules. These four. And these eight also have the same connection rules. Okay? Sometimes they're in groups, you know. But for sure, for sure, any two letters that look the same, like sin and shin, they for sure have the same connection rules. That's for you just to remember. Okay? And also, please, please, by practice, I know that you are going to know how the letter looks like, how does it get connected, but I'm just telling you, please try to memorize that these group, they are with each other, they have the same connection rules, and these group have the same connection rules, okay? So please look at each lesson I'm trying to give you, 
and memorize the shapes and then move on to the next lesson and then try to connect them all together and see how they are similar to each other. Okay? Now, uh, so I'm trying to make them easier for you. So, in the beginning, they all get connected with the one after them. Shams, Sarah, Tara, Ain. The Sha connected with the one after them. The Sa also, the Ta, the Ain. And of course, for the Ain and Da and Da and Sa, we have the same root, okay? So they get connected with the one after them. But in the middle, they get connected with the one before them and after them. Not like the Va and the Ra. They don't get connected with the one after them. No, here they get connected with the one after them. They get connected with the one after them. Same here, same here. Now, uh, I think now you are wondering, what's this letter, right? Okay. The Sa, I think it looks the same. It's just like a straight line, three dashes and straight line. And the Sa, we just take this, you know, this is stomach. The stomach, we take it out and we make like two straight lines, you know? It gets thinner, you know? It has made a diet or something. Ta now, also the same. We just, same letter, but we are connecting it. Now here, what we are going to do exactly is just like, if it's in the beginning, we just remove the stomach and have a straight line, okay? But here, what do we do for I and the line? We draw a straight line, we draw a triangle, but upside down, and then we draw another straight line. Okay? Try to practice it. I'm going to draw it again. Okay? Let me draw it again. We draw a straight line, and then go up. We draw an upside down triangle, and then you continue the triangle till you reach the line, and you continue with the horizontal line. You put a dot if it's a vine, and if it's not a vine, you just remove the dot to make it a eye. Clear? Yach tasu. Yach tasu. Vine here, or yach tasu. Okay? Now in the end, also we have ending roots. If the letter gets connected with the one after it, or it doesn't get connected with the one after it, it depends. If it gets, then they get connected with it. If it doesn't, then we don't get connected with it. Okay? That's it. The letter wall is also one of the letters that I wanted to tell you. Uh, we are also going to uh, discuss it later, but I just wanted to tell you that it also doesn't get connected with the one after, like the alif. Okay? In the end, the letters, they look similar, these, but the I, also we draw a straight line. This triangle, this triangle represents the eye or the line, and then we draw its stomach normally. Only in the middle we remove its stomach. Okay? So, uh, this is our lesson for today. Um, we discussed, uh, I think, now most of the letters. We just have a, a couple of letters that are left. We will take them in our next lesson and I'm going to show you some irregular letters that have irregular ways of connecting them or irregular shapes actually. Uh, I will uh, tell you about them the next time. And we still have the tashkil which is our vowels. So uh, try to practice more on how to connect these letters. We just have a couple of letters that are left. We are going to discuss them. So um, don't worry about that. Study well and uh, see you in the next lesson. Please don't forget to share, like, and uh, subscribe. And again, again, and again, please, please study well. Oh yeah, here I forgot to tell you something. I wrote it wrong. It's sh.